Good Friday morning prayer partner, September the 2nd, 2022. God has a message for you. Second Timothy chapter one, verse seven reads from the Message Bible. And if you've never experienced the Message Bible, it's bringing out the point of the scripture and not necessarily translating it word for word. But what is the message? Most of you know that, but for those of you who don't, I just wanted to make sure I cleared it up so you'd be like, what Bible is she reading? <laughs> God doesn't want us to be shy with his gifts, but bold and loving and sensible. The faithfulness and the fear of the majority were the last points of the sermon, the minority report, the power of faith over fear. God is faithful because a, prom a promise delayed is not a promise denied. I kind of touched on this yesterday. And I realized that when I gave the definition of faith, I was actually giving the definition of grace because a lot of our faith has to do with the grace that we want God to give us in circumstances that don't seem like they will ever work out. And last night I was on the prayer line, the NAD prayer line, and I was listening to the leaders talk about how we can break down our walls. And it was referring to Joshua and the battle of Jericho. And I had done a sermon on our beautiful sister Rahab. And what was awesome was that the walking around the wall and going to the second point, the fear of the majority. Well, the 12 spies, uh-huh, she's gonna correct things. The 12 spies felt intimidated. They felt like they looked like grasshoppers. They felt small. And when we feel small, when we're intimidated by giants in our lives. So uh, some people know, just a segue, all four handles on my car are broken. They all came in yesterday. I looked at YouTube to find out how to fix them myself instead of spending the money, let me save the money so that I'm not intimidated by car repair. I can change a tire, I can jump a car because I've been taught I wasn't intimidated to do those things. Uh, bigger and greater works that I don't have the knowledge for, I will leave to the professionals. But this is actually quite a simple, it needs one tool certain type of screwdriver that will release the handle from the door based on the video I watched. I'm not gonna let these door handles be a giant in my life. I don't have too little knowledge or limited resources, which is what was brought up in the sermon, uh, that I can't fix it. I can be like that sometimes. I can go with the majority. I could be like the Israelites walking around the city of Jericho. Six days you have to walk around being quiet. And the speaker last night on the phone pointed out, at some point, some of these Israelites may have thought, we look crazy walking around here. Why are we doing this? But because God has required us to be quiet, I'm gonna keep going. And then they brought up the fact, excuse me, get my words together today, that the trumpet was blown on that seventh day. And last week, oh, we spoke about the trumpet. How the trumpet is a sign that God's war cry is going forth. The trumpet is a sign, and they read the scripture in, I believe, Joshua or Deuteronomy. I can't remember specifically. Specifically when it originated versus when they blew it for uh, going around Jericho. That's why I used the Deuteronomy book when I said that. When the initial use of the instruction was given to the prophet, uh, or to Moses, excuse me, to blow the trumpet for the tribes to understand that it was time to come together. It was like a roll call. And whenever you go out to face your enemies in battle, God promised them from the beginning, from the onset, of developing the temple, that whenever you go out into battle and the trumpet is blown, the Lord will hear your cry. 
you can have faith in the sound of the trumpet. Because knowing the Lord is on his way drives out all fear. So what is our trumpet today? Our prayers. And that's what they were talking about. The power of prayer. Calling out to the Lord. Blowing our spiritual trumpets in prayer. Denying ourselves and not following the majority like the Hebrew boys. The majority bow before the statue. The majority sought not to die or to be punished. The majority felt helpless and small. But the minority said, Oh, King Lifra, <laughs> if God is for us, there is nothing you can do about it. If God is not for us, we still will not die. Isn't that wonderful? I am so glad for God's grace. I'm so glad for the faith uh, and the faithfulness and the fear of the majority, which brought out the point that, and I'm going back to my memory, as, as y'all can see in the last three videos, sometimes my memory isn't always as sharp, and I'm trying to find that point. The majority keep you from your blessings will keep you from God's promise and the majority the pressure of the majority to follow the majority will keep you in fear there's so many people who join uh, God or come into a, a, a walking living, loving breathing relationship with Christ and the things that they used to do they don't do anymore and it's simply because God called them out of that darkness and brought them into the marvelous light I love how I was washed out and now I'm back in the light and you could actually uh, see me like like literally he brought me out of the blinding blur and now I'm back clear and they have to stand alone when everyone else in their family is telling them to do something else they have to make a decision whether they'll serve God or money God or man God or validation God or fear. God oh, will fill in your blank. God will not accept you warm. Hot or cold. Have you ever been afraid that someone will be cold? I lived in that reality. That if I wasn't nice, compliant, complacent, passive that I would not be accepted and it literally took being pushed oh I felt like it took being pushed and pushed and pushed before my aggression would would give and then I would be like no I won't do it and I thank God that my faith is teaching me I don't have to be aggressive to say no don't have to, I have to be aggressive on my stance for Christ. I have to be aggressive in what I want to do for the Lord. But I don't have to be aggressive with the person. That's what I'm learning the most. I can be aggressive in my no as far as making the decision not to be tempted by certain evils. That's where my aggression is. In the problem and not in the person. And I thank God for that reality. I'm coming to a stop, so let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your faithfulness that a promise delayed is not a promise denied. We thank you, God, that the majority may be afraid. And it's true. We may even sense it, feel it, and have it ourselves. But God, we cry out to you for you. We ask that you would restore us. We ask that you would help us. We ask that you would come to our rescue in the battles of life. We thank you for this Labor Day weekend, a break for some of us, and some still have to work. But I pray, God, that you would just hold us up with your righteous right hand, all by the power of the Holy Spirit, and in Jesus' name, amen. Have a wonderful weekend, prayer partners, and as always, enjoy Jesus. I typically don't do this, uh, especially not at work, I just want to give a super quick shout out to my beautiful mother, 
for always looking for the videos. Who's like, where's the video at? Where you at? What you doing? Well, my video ain't here. <laughs> I thank God for her love and for her awesome gift of just encouraging me, putting a smile on my face. Also, shout out to my beautiful cousin, Janae, um, for just bringing so much light into my life, for all my beautiful prayer partners, for my former ones that I used to text like all the time that I reached out to today. Thank y'all for just reaching back. Um, like I said, I too will be never do any of these. But like, I'm just impressed because I'm just full of love. Like I'm full of gratitude, I'm full of blessings, I'm full of happy moments. I'm just thinking about everybody who's loved me and has been kind to me. And then I'm thinking about those who've been mean and now I get the chance to be kind to them. Um, and not have any fear about expressing my love in the most genuine way possible. It's amazing. Uh, this week has been amazing. Uh, I really pray that these videos have blessed you. Uh, even if just, you know, it's just a little bit. Anyway, shape or form, I hope you have a great Labor Day. Uh, and that y'all just get some of this beautiful sunshine. Yeah, it's hot. But go get it. Go get it. Go enjoy it. Enjoy Jesus.